Peggy Noonan is a columnist for The Wall Street Journal and a CBS News contributor. Peggy, good morning. Good morning, guys. I don't know how much newspaper, you know, endorsements or, you know, editorials have an impact, but this is pretty strong in terms of this editorial. I think it was. I think it was. I think you have to take seriously when a great newspaper breaks a roughly four decade tradition mm -hmm. to take a stand on a presidential race. Um, I don't know what kind of impact these things have. It was interesting that their denunciation of um, uh, Trump was so strong, and yet their uh, reservations about Mrs. Clinton were so stated. Yeah. And what do you make of this um, early morning Twitter barrage from Donald Trump that started before 5 a.m.? Well, the first uh, one was at 3 a.m. At 3 a.m., right. Uh, against uh, the character of Alicia Machado. Does he have anything to gain from continuing this conversation? Well, don't we all wake up in the morning and send in <laughs> rage tweets? <laughs> at 3 in the morning, 5 in the morning? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> I, I think, there in are general, this that. is the kind of story, look, I mean, if you just look at political strategy, you don't want to emphasize a story like this. Yeah. You don't want to call people fat in America. It's not the best way to win votes. If he did that, keep walking. Do you know what I mean? He shouldn't yes. be relitigating this in, in a sort of enraged way at 3 or 5 a.m. I don't know why I, he is. I don't know who gave him his phone back. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I, sort of, I said it two months ago, just get the phone out of his hands. Bury it. Let him not know where it is. And give it to him at 7.03 a.m. Well, he's not giving up his phone. But where do you think the race is right now, Peggy? And what should we be talking about? Well, here's where we are, I think. Monday night, the debate. Mrs. Clinton, in my view, won. And according to the polls, I think that's pretty much agreed. She was happy. She's got the whoosh. She's out there on the campus. Wait, define the whoosh. The whoosh is the feeling of pleasure, happiness, and this is going to work, and I just crushed it. Mm -hmm. And you go into your next big event knowing you've got the whoosh, and you're good. And the crowd sees it, mm -hmm. and they really react. And then you know, I've got the whoosh. It's really with me. Mm -hmm. It lasts for a while. She's taken the wood to Trump right now. She's kind of beating him up as a rapacious businessman. In a way, she's doing a little bit of what was done to Mitt Romney. These rich guys don't care about you. But, you know, he says he won the debate, too. But of go ahead. Yeah. And there you are. Yeah. Trump, on the <laughs> other hand, he's in a bad mood. He knows he didn't help himself, so he's going into junkyard dog mode. And he's having these arguments but and sending sex playing, tape stuff out. Isn't that playing exactly into Hillary Clinton's hands? She set a giant trap. It was so obvious. And he stepped in it. And now he keeps stepping in it. Because she knows what his weak spot is. He doesn't like it if you bring up things that he feels he can defend himself on. But lady and gent, ladies and gent, mm -hmm. we got about five weeks before the election. It's an epical election. This is a great nation with many troubles. They, both of them, should be talking about entitlement Thank spending. You. Right. They should be talking Thank you, about Peggy. war. Thank you. They should be talking the about where America, America should be right. strategically in the world and what they want for the next eight years, which is what they're asking us for, eight years of leadership. Instead, she's doing rapacious businessman. He's doing look at the sex tape. So you blame it them is both, not Peggy? worthy. Mm -hmm. It is not worthy both? of a great nation. I would say sober up. We are voting very soon. So you're blaming them both. I guess this. I am. <laughs> right. She's right. also, you've also it. written and Thank blamed you. in part the media for the discussion. Yes, yeah. I have. I mean, I think yeah. things have gotten pretty shallow and pretty low. Yeah. Thank All you, right. Peggy. Thank you, Peggy Thank Noonan. You.